Hello, welcome to my very first video on this channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to remove the front grille and the star on the hood. See you after the break. In today's video we're going to use some pliers, a wrench, an 8mm socket, some toothpaste, an old toolbrush, an electric toothbrush, some water and paper to wipe down the star in the grill. I'm starting this video with removing the hood star by using pliers. Just put them in like this and turn clockwise to loosen the star and then grab it up front to remove it just like this. To remove the grill you need to loosen eight bolts so you can remove the grill. Be careful it can be quite tight to that's one I'm going to show you only one side because the line is quite bad. But for the other side it's exactly the same, only in mirror. Be careful not to snap the bolts because they can be real stuck after time. Whoa. Also be careful not to put dents in your hood. That's the last one. Just going to replace the camera, so we'll be right back in two seconds. After you remove the eight bolts, be real careful to lift out the grill like this. Be careful not to scratch or damage your chrome grill. So I put on some cardboard, which could be a piece of cloth or whatever works for you. To begin take off these clamps and I like to put them right where that I took them off in order so that they always get back in the same place. Do not force the clamps out as you can damage your grill, which is not ideal. Then, before you take out the plastic piece, I forgot to mention, 
take a Phillips screwdriver and get out this screw with the center is this plastic piece. Like this. Then carefully tilt out one side first the plastic piece like this. Put this one aside. Place the plastic wheel head up first. And as you can see, these chrome strips remain. It's very easy to take them off. Just slide them off, just like this. Again, I like to place them just where I remove them. So I could, uh, could put them back in the same place. For this one it's a bit trickier because this one is little fighter and you have a plastic piece be careful and put this aside now to polish these little crown pieces I you like to use some toothpaste and an electric toothbrush because it's fairly easy and the results are pretty good Take whatever brand you need, or what you have at home, and just put a little dot on your finger. Now you could carefully apply it on the chrome strip. And, well, just rub it in a bit, I would say. Now you take the electric toothbrush and just go over it. After that, take some water and hose it down. I chose to take a water bottle, but you can use your whatever you like. After that, you take some paper and drive for the other pieces it's just the same steps so I'm going to fast forward this
right. After you did this, just be sure to put them back on before you lose a bend or uh, do something else with a trim. If you want, you could spray paint this plastic piece in another color as you like. I did this before, so I just skipped this part. First put in the middle piece, just slide it in. Then you take this part, let me get this straight, as you can see there is a little slot where you can put in fine focus camera, where you can slide in this piece. Now, when you've done that, put it aside, pick up the grown grill. As for this part, you just need a little bit more toothpaste. For the assembly of this chrome grill, just slide in one side first and then you can pop in the other side quite nice. For centering this plastic piece, just put in the screw and tighten it down. Be sure to do this one first. It is very hard to do this after you put back the clamps. Then you can put back these clamps just like this.
And there you have it, a clean grill. Up to the star. For the star I'm going to use just a little toothpaste. Oh, just a bit too much. And rub it in just like the front grill. this one is because it got some nasty stains on them so use some toothpaste and a toothbrush to get those nasty stains out you can't get out with a car wash up to assembly for putting back in this grill be very careful not to scratch or damage your grill or car paint And then put back by hand all the screws so you can check all the holes are in the same place just where they belong. If they fit, you can tighten them now. Job done. Now for start. Just be sure that the lock is on the open side and be real careful by putting it in. Then grab the spring on the underside of the bonnet and turn it counterclockwise. by hand. Then you can tighten it with supplies. Just like this. <laughs> 